Welcome Aquarius, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be for the month of July. All right, so let's see what messages we have for you. All right, so these are love readings. So this is going to pertain to love. For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. Um, Jupiter. We have Aquarius singing around your chart. You can utilize this video. Hi, newbies. If you are new, be sure to go ahead and click the subscribe button. All right, let's talk. Give me a message for Aquarius, please. Your message for Aquarius. You speak to me through music. Somebody is wondering if you are happy without them. All right. I feel like this person is really thinking about you, listening to music, like certain songs. If you guys had a favorite song or a song reminds them of you, we got I'm starting to understand our connection. We also have I love you unconditionally. So this person that you, it seems like this could possibly be like an ex, okay? Someone who you were dealing with. Um, they're thinking of you. You came closer, closer than anyone. Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. You were the best thing in my life, okay? All right, give me a few more messages for Aquarius, please. I love you. This person definitely, like, is still, like, loving on you. Like, <laughs> like they love you. We got I love you unconditionally and I love you. I don't react when people mention you. So this person is trying to play tough, like, around other people. Um, saying, like, oh, yeah, I don't, oh, yeah, we don't talk or no, no around other people, but then when they get to themselves, they in the car crying, listening to sad songs. <laughs> okay, so we got, I replay our conversations over and over. Like this person is like heavily, heavily thinking of you. I am so attracted to you. I feel like if you haven't heard from this person, they're definitely afraid to contact you. They're afraid to reach out, but they can't stop thinking of you. <laughs> cannot stop thinking of you i want you we will be together again like yeah like this person could have lied to you you may have found out the truth about something about this person we got i remember every detail of that day all right so we get it i'm not gonna pull any more of these cards because i'm ready to get into the read this person here they cannot stop thinking of you. You are on their mind constantly. <laughs> like this person constantly thinks of you all the time. All right, so let's see what other messages we have. With the romance angels, give me a message. Trust. You guys could be at a distance. Or someone wants to, this person wants to move towards you. They want to come towards you to like connect with you, to bond with you, to get closer to you. But there could be issues in, in trust, okay, in regards to trust. Okay, we got let go of control issues. Yes, yeah, see someone here could have been controlling, trying to control the situation. There could have possibly been some heart a heart to heart conversation that needs to be had about some deception that could have played in this situation. Someone could have been flirting with someone via internet or through text message. A lot of playfulness energy going on, like a lot of childlike energy going on. Um, this person may have felt like you were trying to control them. We got it is safe for you to love. See, so, yeah, there's issues in trust. I see that. But this person does want to reconcile with you. Okay, we got reconciliation as well as express your love. And then we got romantic feelings. All right, so this person definitely wants to rekindle with you. Okay, um, 
there could have definitely been some issues going on in the deception department. There's a lack of trust in the situation. But this person, it just seems like this person is like regretful. Give me one sec, guys. Give me a sec. So, all right, let's jump into the tarot and let's see what messages we get. Let's give me a message for Aquarius, please, for July 2021, July 1st to the 15th, please give me a message for Aquarius. We got the Nine of Cups. And we got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck and the three of swords and the queen of cups. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have fire energy here as well. Um, as, yeah, the Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. All right, so I am getting right off the bat. Look at this, the Empress, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Cups. The strength, seven of swords, five of swords, two of wands, ace of cups, and the tower. All right, so give me a sec. Let me grab something. I had to grab something to drink because what? I feel like you could be getting some type of, I feel like you want to hear from this person as well, or you want the truth. You want some clarity on a situation. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, a Leo, or a Scorpio. Yeah, it's like maybe you had to force this person to uh, open up. Could have been a Capricorn here. Um, situation could have been extremely toxic, okay? So, I feel like... It, you want some type of clarity. Knight of Pentacles here. Could it be a Capricorn? You want some type of truth, and until then, you're taking things slow. I feel like you're you're moving slow until you get the details. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Um, it's kind of like a a kind of playful energy. See, yeah, I feel like you're spying. I feel like you're watching this person. Um, could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or Libra, I feel like you're just kind of like keeping your eye on the situation. I feel like you want the whole, the whole truth to come out. I feel like that you don't, you don't feel like you have enough information. All right, so we got the Empress here and the King of Pentacles. I'm getting baby mother, baby father. This could be a baby mother, baby father situation. I feel like you think about this situation frequently, um, whether or not you should change your mind or how to move on this situation. But I feel like there's a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict here. A little bit of jealousy, a little bit of spite energy going on here. Why is the Five of Cups here? Tell me about this Five of Cups energy, please. Yeah, you regret like building with this person. You regret you regret coming together with this person. Maybe the last time you did, you was like, nah, I regretted it. 
So until you get full details, you aren't really running towards it. You're kind of like this kind of standoffish. Yeah. Maybe you put in a lot of work, okay? You did a lot. You built a lot. You invested a lot. You put in a lot. And I feel like maybe you regretted it. You didn't feel comfortable. It didn't make you feel at ease. It didn't make you feel like things were equal or balanced. Could be dealing with a Leo. But I feel like you're refraining. You're like it's like you're holding yourself back. I feel like you have something new, a new opportunity that was presented in front of you. Um or you're building your confidence here. I feel like some of you may have recently been like in a situation that maybe you were, there could have been financial burden. There could have been um, just left out in the cold energy. And I think you just feel like I'm not in the, that's not going to, that's not going to happen again. Or they came to you in that energy. Like they needed you. Like they needed your assistance. They needed you for something. Could be a Leo. Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah. I feel like you may find out that someone is definitely lying. We got Aquarius. We got you guys' energy. Someone is getting lied to, tricked, manipulated. And I'm getting a waste of time. A waste of time. Like, uh, there's something here that you don't have all the details to. Um, and I feel like you intuitively know this already. I feel like you've already dealt with this person. You've already put, you already been through the ringer with this person. So it's like, I already know how this story go. Four of Pentacles. I feel like there's, you feel like there is more to this story that this person is not telling you. So I mean, you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm getting communication coming in. But someone's... I'm getting like a, a sense of manipulation here. Somebody's being manipulated or you feel like you're being tricked or manipulated when dealing with this person. Maybe you are rejecting their calls. You don't want to communicate with them. Your intuition is definitely telling you like this person is, you know, like maybe trying to trick you or trap you. You feel like there's some secrets Okay, some things that are just hidden. Like, I, don't, I just feel like you don't trust this person. Now, we got their energy over here as the two of wands. So, they could be planning and preparing. Okay, they do feel like you are uh, ignoring them or they're ignoring you. Somebody's ignoring somebody here. Avoiding. Somebody's avoiding something over here. They want you to make some type of choice. They may feel like you got quite a few options. They may feel like you are moving like you're single. I feel like they want, they're investigating, okay? The Hermit and the Two of Wands could be a Virgo. I feel like this person it could be investigating, like trying to find out um, if you're in a relationship or what's going on. Did you, uh, are, if you were previously in a connection have you guys broken up like i just feel like this person is just like watching you all right somebody's here is definitely keeping secrets and your hopes and fears i feel like you you feel like somebody's keeping something a secret like i feel like for some this is a baby mother baby father situation and you just feel like this person is just keeping secrets. Like maybe you, you see some, you saw this person um, 
you saw something of this person this could be a cancer you've heard about some gossip about something about this person and it's just like you just don't trust you feel like this person is just too secretive mine's a tower here the four of swords things come tumbling down i feel like i feel like this person just something that they did kind of surprised you you didn't think that this person had that type of energy in them, actually. You didn't expect that. You didn't see something coming. It was very unexpected. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. There was a change. You see some type of change. and You see some type of change. The Page of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So that's the tower. Like, you're surprised. Could be a fire sign that you're dealing with, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. You're surprised that you actually see a change. Oh, wow. Somebody wants some sex here. This person could be wanting to connect with you. Okay, I feel like you see this person out of the blue. This person pops up. And they're coming because they want some of this. <laughs> What do you see? What do you end up seeing? What does Aquarius end up seeing? Queen of Wands and the Death card. Could be a Scorpio. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person. I feel like this person puts you in a situation where you're just like, I don't know. It's like, I don't really want to stay. I don't really want to go. Like that type of vibe. Maybe you get around this person and you kind of like... Go to reminiscing about this person. I'm getting like a I'm getting a casual conversation, talking talks about the past. So this person comes back around. Maybe okay, we got the two of swords and ten of cups. Maybe you're being cordial, but some of you are like, I don't want to. I don't want a relationship. Ooh, so for some, you don't want a relationship because somebody needs to get a divorce. Somebody needs to get a divorce first. All right. So it looks like this person reaches out to you. They reach out to you. They want to come back around to you. I must have hidden truth about this person. I must have hidden truth about this person for Aquarius. I hide behind material things. And this person also feels you leaving them behind. And they were wishing that things would be different. Okay. But this person like maybe dresses really well. Or I'm getting like put on this impression of that they have everything together. But I'm not too sure about that. I'm not sure if they have it all together. What does this person want to say? Okay, we got patience. They want you to have some type of patience with them. Look at this, second chance. And this person wants a second chance. They want to balance this out with you. <laughs> They've learned their lesson. They're <laughs> they want you to come to some type of decision. And you guys, somebody is saying, look, we're on two different pages. There are some obstacles, okay, with this person from your past. Okay, but I'm getting that somebody took it. Maybe you guys are on a break. And somebody is working on their finances or needs to work on their finances. Play hard, okay? Spiritual lesson and finances. Friendship. Second chance. This came out again. This person definitely, we got passion here. This person definitely like wants to get in bed. And we got true love. Okay, so they could be coming with that type of energy. Like they're just emotionally, physically, and unconditionally in love. Um, they definitely want a second chance for sure, for sure. This relationship deserves a second chance. This person wants a second chance for sure. And they're willing, I feel like they're even willing to go really hard. Like 
they're going hard. I feel like um, they feel like they've been patient long enough. Like, hey, let's work this out. This person has to work things out for sure. And this person does not want to lose you. person want to say to Aquarius my ego is loud but I am listening to my soul I'm striving for spiritual enlightenment this person wants to know if you've moved on <laughs> they want to know if you moved on they're afraid that you moved on um let's see this this person really is they they feel like they've seen the future with you they want you by their side for sure, for sure. I know that you are the one I want to spend my life with. You're in my dreams. I'm ignoring other people. Like, yeah, this person... <laughs> for sure. Wants to reconcile. Everything around the book says, I want you back. <laughs> I need you back in my life. I can't do this without you. This person is like... They know what they want. And it's you. Okay? It is you. All right. So if this message resonates with you guys, be sure to give me the thumbs up as well, guys. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. All right? If you would like to book a personal reading, all readings at this time for um, July 4th, the whole day, readings are $35, okay? So that's a little more than half off. That's like 60% off, okay? So contact me below. The information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, you can check out my website, all right? 20% off the website as well using code SALE20 at checkout. All of that info is in the drop box below, all right? Until next time, my loves. Ciao for now.